Is it right for a Christian to find Jesus in Isaiah? It's a question that regularly comes up when you're teaching Isaiah. Is it, and if so, how is it, appropriate for Christians to keep finding prophecies of Jesus in a book like Isaiah? Is it taking the Old Testament seriously? Let's take a look. One of the common starting points for this is Isaiah chapter 53 and it is such a strong and perhaps such an obvious example that it seems the right place to start but maybe if we start with a more difficult passage it'll make us work harder and by making us work harder it'll maybe produce more helpful results my suggestion is chapter 7 verse 14 Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child, and will give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. Now, this may seem equally obvious with Isaiah 53 at first glance, but at second glance it's not quite so simple. It seems pretty obvious, especially if you read the NIV, with that virgin being with child. When else in the history of humanity is a virgin being with a child, except in the birth of Jesus? The trouble here is that most translations don't render the Hebrew Alma with virgin. It's a possible translation but by no means a necessary one. But it gets more complicated if we think about the context. You see the context of the saying is given to us in the passage itself. Isaiah is talking to Ahaz. It's round about 735 BCE and the two more powerful kingdoms to the north, Israel, the northern kingdom, and Syria have been ganging up together to bully Ahaz, king of Judah, into joining them in a coalition against Assyria, the superpower. Ahaz, frightened of them, but frightened also of joining in their gang, is planning to go to Assyria and ask for their help against the smaller alliance. Isaiah is tasked by God with trying to persuade Ahaz to trust God instead. That's the context. therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign so if this verse is referring to Jesus how does God's sign help Ahaz? after all it's 735 BCE if Jesus is the sign the sign won't happen until nearly 700 years after Ahaz and the two kings who are threatening him are all dead the sign isn't much use to Ahaz or to God to change Ahaz's mind so if Jesus is the sign Ahaz won't understand it Isaiah may or may not understand it but will know it's useless if he does understand it and God is playing tricks with the universe we have a problem the sign for Ahaz has to be some other child some child born in the next few weeks or months if the sign is to change Ahaz's behavior if the signs to work but we know from reading the New Testament that Jesus fulfills this promise so what's going on what's going on is that Jesus does fulfill the promise he fills it out fully Emmanuel was a sign to a faithless king that God is faithful a sign to the faith of faithless Ahaz that God could be trusted and could be trusted more than the superpower Assyria the name Emmanuel means God is with us and his birth would be a sign to Ahaz but how much more is Jesus a sign to a faithless world that God is faithful and the name Emmanuel, God is with us, comes to mean so much more when we see it fulfilled in Jesus. You see, it's quite simple. It's just like I was saying in the other podcasts about fulfillment. When we read the Old Testament with an eye to how it's filled out, made complete and perfect in Jesus, we see that Jesus does fulfill the Old Testament. So, is it right for a Christian to find Jesus in Isaiah? Yes, because he fully fills it.
Bye for now. Oh, do take a look at some of the other podcasts on fulfilling. They may help you if you haven't already listened to them. Bye for now.